So, I have put you over here now, and it's not just five minutes. Okay? Alright. So, of time that I've got left on this stupid fuck. You know what I mean? We're going to talk about ships. That's right. Computer ships, transistors. Oh my god, the horror. Could you imagine? Oh, you might learn. That should get rid of the vast majority of you, and that'll be nice. Uh, there you go. You're probably not around anymore if you're one of those naysay little bastards. So, if you're a person like myself that's interested in this, you might actually end up learning a couple of things. You might not. I don't know. It really depends. Pretty heavily on you, truthfully speaking. Make an espresso. Not really. Not yet. Doing the pre-warm and all that stuff. Already got everything ground. But, skip ahead. I guess, if you want to. It's not going to really change much. Because truthfully, we have vibrations on one side, and I'm going to leave it there to get rid of the vast majority of people. I love rage baiting. <laughs> I love getting rid of people that just can't handle listening. That's, they just they can't do it. They can't, can't stand the idea of maybe somebody might know something. And man, I don't want to have to listen to it. You know what I mean? I love doing that shit to people. I mean that. So, we're going to talk about how we have on one side and another basically the same thing. Like, a, a chip has to be attached to a substrate of some kind, right? That's all it is. It's a material attached as a gate. You know, that's basically what it is, right? You know, that's the gapping band. It's usually done through either mechanical and or a voltage modifier, which is why it is voltages in a particular type of area. That's the digital, the ones and zeros. I mean, well, I mean, yeah, no, that's, that's a fucking capacitor and a battery that's volatile, okay? That's all that is. I don't know why you call it something else, you weirdos. Why do you call it something else? We're not the weirdos. <laughs> hey. <laughs> but that's all that is, truthfully speaking. Like, no, my, my gapping. Oh, no. Yeah, no, I know. You programmed, you set it up to be here ahead of time in this given area. So that way, when it goes through, and if it does or does not, it's got the energy potential to go through and actually be a transistor and switch things. Right? That's all they are. That's all they ever do. It's literally it, right? Meanwhile, that sounds like an analog. Just got like a couple of really small batteries and fucking capacitors. Well, I wouldn't, wouldn't say that. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. That's literally what that is, though, isn't it? No, no, no. We're way more special and bigger than that. That is way. You don't even know that. That's not what that is. <laughs> And I'm like, okay, sure. Meanwhile, me, the other side of it, right? You get the dosing funnel. <laughs> That's right. It's a funnel that doses stuff. Here's a WDT tool. Yeah, for those out there. Yeah, I, I do the dosing, the dosing funnel. So it's like, all right, you got a little bit of understanding. You don't know that much. That's not really what that is. <laughs> it's different materials, different band gaps, different doping styles. Dosing funnel. <laughs> Lasers! <laughs> Shut up, you. <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> Meanwhile, me also on the other side. Yeah, I mean, they're not totally wrong. I'm going to move on. Because it's like, all right, so there's... We've all posited before. We'll use, you know, transistor. No, 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 no. The CPU socket, the substrate, you little fuck-ups, is going to slide in and cool itself. 
Instead of having a pin set on one fucking side, it's going to be sandwiched. I'm sure you've heard it before, right? She shut up over there, you little numbskull. <laughs> like you know what the fuck's up. Alright. Now, we got someone's attention, finally. He's like, no, we're not done yet. Because, you know, that's me. I'm that guy. It's like, well, wait, 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 what? What? Yeah, no, we need a 3D of them anyways, right? we got to do the 3D thing. We've been needing to do that 3D thing for a long time, right? Well, yeah, right. Well, why? So we needed to do 3D transistors for a long time. Not to mention, we have photon guns. Remember photon guns? Tube TVs, right? It's like, oh, right, right. We have this electromagnetic potential over here and over there and so on, right? Yes, yes. Now, as a photon goes from one side and it goes to this other side, what does it do? It can shift in every way. It's wave function. Frequency! Okay. <laughs> Close. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> Frequency. Okay. Then it's like, well, I can pound quite a few more in there, can I? No. No. <laughs> no. Meanwhile... Let me just put some field programmable is what they go with, meanwhile me. No, they're field pin sets. Okay, you little fuck-ups. Jeez, so that way you can get deeper in there. And then you can fire in your lasers with your crystals. I like to call them crystals because it bothers the shit out of people. But that's effectively what they are. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's literally, they are crystals. I don't disagree. <laughs> yeah, no, they're crystals. They're doing crystal things. Like being crystally. <laughs> Fucking tamp got stuck in my basket. Damn it. <laughs> Doing crystal shit over here. Look at him, so much crystally. <laughs> Meanwhile, oh yeah, no, but this type of transformation and electromagnetic frequency, guess what? Guess what it does? Changes this frequency over here to what is this again? It absorbed it like this and it. Then output it like that. Oh! That's transisting, isn't it? That's a gate array of some sort, right? Also, there are crystals that are very thermally conductive, very electro, meaning electrically non conductive. Which is great, you're gonna want that. That's great material stuff. You know? That's stuff that you want. Because that means goes the vibrations. It's like, ah, oh, I gotcha. You didn't think it was going to be meaningful. It wasn't just because I said vibrations. It did actually have a meaning and a basis. That's called cooling. Thermal acoustic cooling. Otherwise known as just acoustic cooling. But I can also cool them on both sides because I can slot them on both sides. No one said that I can't cool on one side and the other. Why can't I? If I can input light on one side, and I can input electromagnetics on another side and the other side, I can input also electricity on both sides and input fields on both sides. You know, I'm getting a lot more out of this, aren't I? So yeah, I can put my RAM right here, stuck in between both the slots, or still on the same board. I mean, it's supposed to hold it, right? Just slots in. Kind of like SD cards do, right? Sticks in. Goes burr. But you know, here's the thing. I now have three different ways of modulating this. That's programming. And I can also get slight degrees of quasi-quantum computing going. Of course. I can influence both sides... I can input on one side and output on the other. I can still input on one side and in every way output on that side too. There's a lot there that you can do and because there's a mechanical given design there, of course I have phononic transisting. You might not have known about that. Well, just because heat goes to both sides and I can input it on the sides. Heat, go outwards to where the plates are that cool it and hold it down. Right? It's pretty simple. 
self-explanatory. But it's not really fully there, of course. It's like, why would I do that? That seems like it's so complicated. Actually, not really. You effectively just sort of stick the, the things you already have together. Just get two of them, stick them together. Make sure that the substrate you know that they're attached to is essentially a glass and thermally conductive or electrically conductive, depending on the pin set and the type of like wires, you know, the doping in a circle, right? That you do for your fields that you want to run and how to receive them, kind of like wireless charging, right? Pretty simple stuff. Same thing for light detectors. And, you know, for what it's worth, curvatures of lens and how they detect that is, is is very doable on those small scales. In fact, we've already gotten nano optics for a long time. So uh, they work very rather well with our already big behemoth TSMC, Intel, and more setups for lasers, right? Um, in fact, we can grow a lot of them too. And so we really can just connect them. You know, I know that sounds insane, but it's like I can still stick those little parts in between each chiplet. Which helps cool them, by the way. <laughs> you know what I mean? It holds them in those little areas, and then there's a cooling substrate material around that also both inputs and, of course, outputs, pin set-wise, information. The reason why is because it's like, well, 96 cores is not enough! I need more cores! <laughs> need more cores? I need more cores, apparently. How about learning how to do more with the cores you have? How about, like, you know, making every given type of transistor effectively run the operation as uh, efficiently as possible by having it set up for the next one? Right? It's like, yeah, I'll do a little bit of calculations, and then I set up for these. Right? That's like cache. But it's like, right, you only need certain transistors to do that given plus, minus, blah, 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 blah type of any calculations basically that you want but that's already in my programming thing you know what I mean on my playlist it's well rather large it's still there it's not that hard to fucking listen oh wait 12 minutes in you stop listening 12 minutes in most of you aren't even here are you this guy doesn't know anything about this. He bullshitted for three, four minutes. I never even bothered to check. And then... Oh, wow. I got rid of the vast majority of them. They'll never listen. Those of you that stuck around, smart ones, aren't you? Yeah. Guess what? A brand new design that's very feasible, very easy to, to make, actually. Especially since we want sockets that are much easier for us to just and put them down and good to go let's go boom easy hot swap get them going go 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 right now i can stack them i can cool them in between that's right i'm saying oh you can't just get them going <laughs> yeah i can there's nothing wrong with that we have hot swappable fucking hard drives and nvmes and more you're fucking retard if you think we can't do that we already do that with cpus how fucking stupid are you, person that thinks they know more? They can act like that, right? See what I'm saying? Doesn't take much, nothing at all, to do that. You know, you already make your two, just stick them together with something in between. Substrate, you're already going to use a PCB. It's not even that hard to find those kinds of, well, thermally conductive and electrically and thermally conductive material which we've had for ages they're very conducive to certain types of ultraviolet frequency manipulation if you don't know you're poised effectively to run field light and more for your transistor types while cooling them because of course you still have phononics as they go through and you can reduce that amount of volt during that resonance during those acoustics to 
and then it goes over across the band gap. That's our scene fit and more, and we still got graphene that can use that very thing too. Those are good. That's magnetic switching, right? Along with electromagnetic switching around. That's coherer effects too, when it suddenly becomes able to break the gap of oxide layers from stored energy potentials. The hero effect is more ionic like our brain is during given resonant frequency ionic exchanges. And all of a sudden the brain wave comes through and then we do the calculations. Simple stuff, right? Well, guess what? Here's a way to make an entire brain computer on a single chip. Mimic it very easily. Cheaply, too because it's just a slight modification of what we already have. In fact, it, cheaper materials, faster to put together because you need fewer chips to actually do more, and they can cool themselves much more. And graphene can still be in there with your terahertz, so you can still get your light based, and you can still get your, well, actually, basically every fucking version that our brain happens to do. Isn't it? Because you have plasma. Too many electrons, too many photons, baryonic. And then, what do you know? That's a quantum qubit, isn't it? Jiggled it just the right way and boom. Well, yeah, no, in its relative area, it was quite cold and quite isolated. And then it was not. And by the way, oh, I caught all of those qubit systems and I set it right back up immediately and was able to take multiple different measurements for what it is that it ultimately worked out to be. Isn't that nice? Something I already talked about and I added Kyle Hill for the Magneto scene for the brain chip idea. This is essentially the same thing. Just a little bit more flushed out, I guess, to make you believe it. It's like, ah, shocker. You can do all of that, and then some, with my programming. You can't possibly know this. Why? Doesn't really make much sense to me. You know what makes sense? Somebody got curious, and they decided to look in. What did they find? It wasn't all that hard to learn that. But I don't have your gatekeeping degrees. I don't have any of the, oh, expertise and experience. I don't have, look at my mountains of evidence of... What is this again? Published through millions of dollars of research? <laughs> this guy's a psychopath. There's no way he could possibly... He's just trying to manipulate us. Alex Jones, please leave. Could you, could you go? Could you get the fuck out of here? Jesus, fuck. I have evidence of him being psychopathic! <laughs> okay. And you're gonna cut your father's head off, too, huh? <laughs> Fucking weirdo. Loser. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> Get over yourself. I'm talking about how to make a real, genuine brain chip. It mimics us very well. And even how to program it. Manufacture it. For cheap, in mass. A little retooling. Nothing that they couldn't afford. Isn't that something awesome? Like and subscribe. Please share. Suck my dick and balls!